Well, hello, 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 and today we will be uh, looking over the tire pressure monitoring system in the uh, 2008 Escalade. Uh, it'll run from, I believe, from 2007 to 2013. The issue I'm having right now is that uh, one of the sensors is not reading, so one of my tires is giving me no reading at all when I look at the, uh, the tire pressure sensor on the instrument cluster. So today, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about how you you know need to go about getting that repaired. Alrighty, well I'm in the vehicle now. I'm going to go ahead and start the car so we can see the error messages that I'm getting. So that's the message that I'm getting. It's tire or service tire monitor system. Then the little flat tire icon will start blinking. And that's common. That eventually will go steady, but it won't go out. Now, if you go ahead and you hit the, uh, I guess the button here, uh, info button. Let me see if I can go through there. Uh, when you go to the rear tires, it's the right rear tire is giving me two dashes. And the two dashes is, um, well, it's not getting a reading, so that's why there's no number there. So that lets me know instantly that that right, uh, you know, that right uh, rear tire sensor has gone bad. That's the one that's, that the battery has gone bad. So that's what um, we're going to have to replace. Now, when I go to the tire shop, they, they actually have a, like, a sensor reader that they just put up close to the tire. And they can actually send a signal to it and see if it gets something back so that way they can actually diagnose it and make sure it's that one because also you never know if these tires haven't been configured correctly as far as you know it's telling me right now it's the right rear but maybe that reading is for the right front and it just never get got reset um i do have another video in or in, you know that will show you how to do that obviously if one of the sensors is bad do not go through the sensor risk re you know calibration um technique because uh it it won't be able to complete because it won't read one of the sensors so if you if you have this condition do not try to reset or recalibrate uh your sensors um and i'll post uh, a link to that video on cali recalibrating your uh, tire pressure sensors so this is what it looks like you know and i'm gonna cycle through these options again so I'm clicking this button here, the car info button. And those are the front tires, 34, 33. I need to add a little bit of air. They should be, I think, around 30, 35, 36. And um, it's cold here in uh, October, so the tire pressure is a little low on all the tires. So the rear tires is what is, is, is what's showing. So that right rear, since my, mine had been calibrated and I checked the tire pressures, um, so I'm pretty sure that they're all you know correct. To the corresponding tires so right now when i go there they're you know most likely just going to replace that right rear and um, obviously they'll test it to make sure that it's the one that's not reading correctly and they'll go ahead and replace it but that's it i guess the next part of the video i'll be at uh, radial tires um, and then eventually um, showing you how it got resolved Right here, right here. That's the bad one. Okay. And then I'll tell you the tire pressure too, huh? Uh-huh. All right. All right. Well, I just wanted to do a follow-up video. Um, I ended up taking the car into Radial Tire in uh, Silver Spring. And I just wanted to show you, um, going through these uh, menus, that the sensor now is working. We have a new sensor on the right rear. So they ended up replacing the right rear scent, uh, right rear uh, sensor which includes the valve stem um, and once they replaced that uh, obviously now everything's working like it's supposed to be it's it's a new stem with a new sensor with, with a fresh battery so those you can't actually replace the battery in them 
So you have to, as far as I know, you just have to replace the, the whole stem. Now, where I went, Radial Tire, I think they charged me $52 to replace it, including labor and parts, which is a pretty, pretty good deal in my, you know, my opinion. So, uh, so that's it. It's just how to resolve the issue when one of these tire sensors goes bad. Now, this is going to work um, the same way. Obviously, the message might be different, but it'll work the same way in all GM vehicles, and honestly, in all vehicles uh, when you have when you have that situation. Uh, so, this is a step that you need to do. You know, you need to take it in normally, like I said before, unless you have somebody that uh, you know you have the equipment to change a tire. Uh, so. You know, you just need to take it in, you know, pay the $50 and uh, get a new sensor. Now, most batteries will last you, uh, they're supposed to last you up to five years, three to five years, but mine have lasted uh, close to 10 years. That one sensor I don't think has ever been replaced. And this truck is about 10 years old, uh, soon to be. So they will last a long time, but you will have to replace them eventually. So that's my quick video and I hope it helps somebody out. Uh, please go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I just want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing to my channel and I want to wish you all a happy new year.